What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. It's S T E V W -E, e the Black. I'm back, and I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna make a wrestling prediction video. Um, I'm gonna start doing these more often for the pay-per-views and reviews and everything like that because I wanna um get back into doing more wrestling videos. More content equals more views equals more subscribers. So. That's how I came up with the NFC East episode video, so... Plus, it deviates from me talking about the Eagles and gives me something else to talk about until basketball season starts, too, so... Alright, so here we go. So, we all know Super Showdown is, uh, this Saturday. Um... It's at 5 a.m. our time. Um... I'm letting y'all know right now, I ain't getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning to watch some wrestling. I love wrestling, I love WWE, but I'm not getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, obviously, I'm going to watch it later in the day. Um, so, I'm just going to run down the card real quick and uh, get my thoughts on who I think will win. All right. So, first, we have Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm going with Becky Lynch to retain here because, obviously, it would make no sense to hot potato the, to the title. But then again, WWE has been known to do that. Um... They did it with uh, Sasha and, and, and Charlotte, so I wouldn't pull it past them to do this, but if the rumors are true about Charlotte versus uh, uh, Ronda Rousey are true at WrestleMania next year, then, you know, Becky can't lose the title. But then again, she could and then win it back, but, you know, you never know. But I'm going with Becky Lynch to retain. Then we've got Asuka and Naomi versus the Iconics. The Iconics are from Australia, which is where this match, pay-per-view rather, is taking place. Um, I'm going with the Iconics. Normally, people, when you're from that state that you're in or whatever, like Dean is from Cincinnati, Ohio, right? Nine times out of ten, they're not going to win there. They're just not. Most of the time, when you're from the city that you're in, you don't win. But I'm going to go with, I mean, this is a heel, and this is the first time Asuka and Naomi are teaming up, and Iconics will probably figure out some way to cheat and win, so I'm going to go with the Iconics to win this match. Next, we have the New Day taking on the team of Cesaro and Sheamus, the bar for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I'm going with the New Day. Um... The New Day have been losing to Cesaro and Samus in singles action over the past couple weeks, so but I think the New Day will figure out a way to retain. Should be a good match because these two teams, uh, they have some history. And I'm surprised. I haven't been watching SmackDown that much, but I'm surprised. I wonder if they brought up their history because when New Day became the longest reigning tag team champions ever, Cesaro and Sheamus were the team that beat them for the belt. So I don't know if they ever brought that up, but they should. So... But I got to do the entertaining. Next, we have Cedric Alexander taking on Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight Championship. I have no idea because I don't watch 205 Live. So I'll just go with Cedric Alexander. But I wouldn't be surprised if Buddy Murphy won. You know. Next, we have AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship in a no disqualification, no count out match. Um, these matches have been way better than AJ versus Nakamura is. Um... I'm going to go with AJ Styles. I'm going to go with AJ Styles. And the reason why, I will get more into it when I get to a certain match, and I will explain why. But I'm going with AJ Styles to retain the championship. So next, we have the Bella Twins and Ronda Rousey taking on the Riot Squad. I'm going with the Bella Twins and Ronda Rousey. Or, you know what I could see? I could see the Riot Squad winning. Because obviously we're gonna the rumor is we're having Nikki Bella versus Ronda Rousey for the Smack for the Raw Women's Championship, so Nikki could cost Ronda the match, and then they start building towards that. Um, very interesting. Or it could be that they Bella Twins win and Ronda win, and then the blind side attack happens after that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Next, we have The Shield taking on Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre in a six-man tag team match. I have The Shield winning. Obviously, this angle with Dean Ambrose, you know, they're teasing super hard that this man is going to be turning heel and turning his back on The Shield. Um, 
could it happen at Super Showdown? I don't know. Here's the thing. WWE is very predictable. They are. But they aren't so predictable that they're teasing. Like, they're just basically telling you this dude's turning heel. Now, they could do a swerve and have somebody else turn heel. But how often does that really happen? Not too often. So... I'm going to go with the shield. I'm going to go with the shield. Because if Dean is going to turn, I you would think they'd save it to a WrestleMania. And that's what I'm going with. So, next we have Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. Winner becomes the new number one contender for the WWE Championship. And I'm going with The Miz. That's right. You're thinking, well, Daniel Bryan's lost twice to The Miz. Surely he can win now. Nope. I'm going with The Miz. Daniel Bryan... Here's the thing. So Dan Bryan's about to win, but Randy Orton is going to cost Daniel Bryan the match because he is Dan, because he is ne Dan, Randy Orton's next victim, if you will. Because why did Randy Orton go after Jeff Hardy? Because he was the people's hero. Well, who else is bigger than the people's hero than Daniel Bryan? And right for the picking for Randy Orton. So that should be a good few leaving for the mid to take on AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Where then, nobody will think Miz has a chance, but a The Miz will beat AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Then Daniel Bryan will win the Royal Rumble, and those two will meet for the championship where Bram Bryan will win at WrestleMania. That's why I think they're going for it, because that would be awesome storytelling in the terms of The Miz. So I got The Miz winning. And then we have Bobby Lashley and a returning John Cena taking on Elias and Kevin Owens. I'm going with Bobby Lashley and John Cena. It's been a long time since we've seen Cena. I think it's been since the Greatest Royal Rumble. Um, man, it feels so weird without John Cena being in WWE. But, uh, hey. But I'm going with that team to be Elias and Kevin Owens. And then finally, the main event. Triple H versus The Undertaker. Shawn Michaels and Triple H corner, Undertaker and Kane, Kane and Undertaker's corner. <sighs> Who's gonna win? I'm going with a no contest. I think that obviously they've been building up. If you haven't heard the rumor, the rumor is at the greater at, at, at Crown Jewel, it's gonna be DX versus the Brothers of Destruction, and then. Either at Survivor Series or the Royal Rumble, it's going to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels in a singles match. Shawn Michaels is coming back. Shawn Michaels is bald. Um, I'm going with the no contest, like I said, because they're building into the tag team match. But, I mean, I could see Triple H winning. <sighs> it's me. I don't have much time. I've only got 14 minutes. I'm already at the eight minute mark. Sorry if I seem kind of sloppy with this. It's been a long time since I've done predictions videos and given reasons why. But I can see a lot. Of, see, I, my mind is racing with all these different scenarios and things that can happen. So I'm going to have to go with, I said no contest, but my gut's telling me that Triple H might win. Shawn Michaels might help him win. Or whatever like that. And then Undertaker takes out Shawn Michaels. And which allows Triple H to then win the match. So that's what I got. That is my Super Showdown predictions video. So let me know who you think is winning what match. And uh, if you're not down with that. I just got two words for you. Peace out. And uh, yeah that's it. Again I should get better at this as time goes on. It's been a while since I've done wrestling videos. So I've been so focused on the Eagles and basketball and everything. So. Anyway, peace out, guys.